my call to ministry really began when I met God. Um, something made so much sense in the process of me going from death to life in the spiritual realm with Jesus that I knew I was supposed to help other people find that as well. And so it was a very slow reveal. I, I went through my, my entire twenties discerning that call, sometimes fighting against that call. And then, um, even trying to understand that call within the context of the United Methodist church. Um, but, um, I have been called to uh, help people discover who God is in the midst of their lives. And, uh, one of the primary ways I do that is in the counseling room and it, the, the interplay between psychology and faith is beautiful because most of the things that psychology pushes towards are, are the things that God has called us to naturally without the background and explanation sometimes. And so I love walking through stories with people and then having them arrive at a place, which is kind of exactly where God would have called them to in the midst of his own in, invitation into the journey of faith. And uh, my other primary excitement is in giving people a place to rest in the arms of Jesus, because I've found nothing more whole and satisfying than that. And so I love giving people, uh, inviting them in on that journey to have genuine times of worship of rest, of peace, of prayer, just with him to be restored and to remember who we are. Those are the two things I'm super excited about and called into. So I was thinking about the funny story thing and I couldn't come up with a funny story. Um, but this process of the ordination has been super interesting because I was very ignorant of the whole thing when I got started. And I have been blessed with a group of honest ordination friends. So we went through things and we went through struggles. Each time we gathered together, I knew I was going to hear from the hearts of each of those people. And it was very refreshing uh, to be on a journey with others and be vulnerable and honest. And um, it was super fun. Well, uh, first off, I'm thankful to my parents who um, raised me with the story of Jesus. And um continually gave me an example in many ways of who he is. The second person I'm thankful for, I don't even know the name, but it was a gentleman who gave an invitation to respond to the gospel when I was 18 years old and um, for his faithfulness and preaching and, and giving that chance to make it real and hit home. Um, third person I'm thankful for is Reverend Scott Wright, who uh, is an elder in our conference. And he was my college minister at Louisiana tech university and that is where I learned what it was to be a disciple and follower of Jesus Christ. And not only was it through his teachings and guidance, but it was through um, his own his example as a man who's following God. I'm thankful to all of my other friends along the way, my family, um, who have encouraged me and guided me on this journey. I'm very, very thankful for my wife, who is as committed as I am to serve Jesus. And we're both excitedly looking forward to the future of what God might call us into with complete openness, um, which is a very, very relieving thing to have a partner who's on that spot with you. And uh, I'm also very thankful for my current colleagues in ministry at First United Methodist Church Report, um, who are very supportive and encouraging, thankful for the community that we serve. And um, the last person has been more of a surprise the last three or four years is Bishop Bill Hutchinson who was working with us here for a bit, but um, I've never had anybody invest in my life the way that he has. Um, the way he's cared for me, the way he's invested in me has shown me in many ways who Jesus is and has given me a model, not only to live into, but invest in others in a similar fashion. So it's, it's kind of a fun question because I don't know who else I'll be thinking in five years and 10 years. Um, for this this whole journey. Obviously, most thankful of all to God who woke me up and showed me there's a greater story to live into and a way to truly find rest and peace and life 